Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the first lab program of uh, web, which is uh, program one, which is calculator. Okay. So here we have to write a code so that we are able to enter two numbers, and we'll be having an option like plus, minus, subtract, or divide here. And by using that, we'll be selecting any of these ones, and we'll be entering some values here, and we'll be able to see the result here. Okay. So for that, we'll be using the JavaScript as well. And first, we'll be designing the top overview of it means including all these elements in a table form and after that we'll be uh, getting these values by the id and then uh, applying some on click listeners and all uh, to perform the particular operations okay so this is the code overview we have the two parts here in the code the html part is the main thing in html it's getting divided into two parts one is the table okay and another is html has the body type inside the body these two things are there table and script okay in table we'll be designing the ui and here we'll be writing a logic in javascript okay so this is the overview of it if i show you the um, how to remember this one so uh, so firstly you have to start from here the program one head is there and body is there okay these two things are there let me change the color so these two things are there head is there body is there okay in head we have the title which just shows like javascript calculator that's the thing which is present in head okay and second part is body in body we have further two parts which is table and script so we will be discussing what is in table and we will be discussing what is in script so what all you need to remember is just in table four things will be there the four rows one two three and four how many rows are there four rows are there why four rows are there this is the first row to enter the first number second row to enter the second number and in third row we will have four divisions like two uh, means the operators will be there and final row we will have the result here okay so for this what you need you need uh, like enter the first number the text you need to put here and inside that input will be there so for that enter the first number will be there and input will be there same thing goes for this also enter the second number and input and after that we have the operators so four operators are there so for that we'll be getting the four type uh, input and this type will be uh, button okay because input type button then only we can take the input from here in the form of button and uh, the, the inputs present here and here also that's uh, in the form of number okay input type is equal to number and input type is equal to button here okay after doing that we'll be uh, showing the in, uh, doing the logic part here we have a function here which has n1 and n2 two variables will be getting by document id and we'll have if else condition means operator is equal to plus then uh, result is equal to n1 plus n2 and if it is minus minus then it is into it is if it is divided it is divide finally we'll set the result value in uh, this part by using the id dot uh, value is equal to result whatever we get the result here that will be set in this part so that will be visible in the html page so let's go through the code part in the code part what we have um see here it's starting from here doc type html and the html tag starts from here and it's ending here in between these two tags only we'll be writing the whole code so as i told you html tag has the body uh, i mean head and body two things are there this is the head just one line of code and then body is there till the end okay body is there till the end so this is html and here we have the body and here we have the head okay so head just has one title tag so you can easily write title calculator using javascript so our title will be displayed that's all about head now our last part is which is body so in body we have two parts as I already discussed table part and the script part right table part and the script part table part is for ui and script part is for uh, is for what logic right so let's discuss about that here we have the um, body okay in body we will be first displaying like h1 tag using uh, h1 tag to display simple calculator using javascript you can just write h1 simple uh, calculator using javascript close h1 that's all okay don't worry about the text line and all just for now remember this one okay just we'll be writing a h1 tag in the body and after that we'll be having two things which is table and uh, script so let me show you how much is the table table starts from here okay this is the starting point of table and from here till here this is the ending point of table that's the first part in the body and the second part of the body what we have is the script it starts from here and we have the if else conditions and the script ends here so table and the script are there two parts of the body now let's discuss what is in the table as i told you how many rows are there this is one row this is another row and here we have it's uh, extended for four inputs so this is the third row and this is the fourth row after that the table is getting ended here as you can see so four rows are there so let's discuss what is in the four rows in every row we have header and data in head we will write enter the first number in data we will write the input type is equal to number for now just uh, uh, forget about this one just uh, think that input type is equal to number that's all enter first number input type is equal to number to get the number 
same thing goes here also enter the second number get the number okay that is about the uh, first two rows and coming to the last row after you have to after that you have to come to the last row here also result and uh, input type is equal to number that's all enter the first number uh, input type is equal to uh, number second also enter second number and input type is equal to number result input type is equal to number that's about the uh, one two and fourth coming to the middle part here we just have the header in the middle part we just have the header call span is equal to two call span is equal to two means you'll have two divisions okay so totally four things will be visible because we are entering four times means four uh, things will be visible here and we are uh, entering button 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 so four buttons will be created input type and values are plus minus into and divide so plus value uh, minus into and divide will be there for now just remember that one i'll come to this later okay don't worry about that for now you just have to remember in the third row you will have four buttons here input type is equal to button and values are plus minus into and divide then coming to the script part in the script part what you will write is function then we'll write the function name and inside that the parameter we'll be accepting is op which is the operator if the operator comes at that time we have four options either plus or minus or into or divide right so based on that option if it is plus n1 plus n2 if it is minus n1 minus n2 if it is uh, multiply n1 into n2 if it is divide n1 divided by n2 that will be assigned to result so for that you need n1 n2 and result okay just don't worry about this one i'll come to this later n1 and n2 you are taking and result also you are taking three variables and you are assigning the values according to the op after that you will be just setting the value of uh, result rest dot value the document uh, id then you will be setting the result okay so to quickly wrap up what we did html has two parts head header part has the title in the body part we have two more things which is table and script in the table we are designing the ui four rows will be there in the four rows we are doing something then in the script part also we are using the if else conditions we'll be using three variables n1 n2 and result n1 and n2 values we are uh, getting from the ids and uh, means what input we have taken here that ids will be matched and we'll get the values of n1 and n2 based on the op value if else condition we'll be assigning the result as n1 plus n2 minus n2 or into n2 or divided by n2 and then finally we'll be setting the document dot result that value what uh, we have uh, uh, means defined here that value will be setting as document dot result is equal to result and now what i had left is just this one like in the rows we'll be writing right input type is equal to number along with that just write name and id means it's number one so write name and id as number one you are giving a name to it hey who are you you are number one okay so that's what you are telling to that particular element hey you are number two like that okay then coming to here button let's come to the last part after that i'll come to button you will tell to result hey your name is result and your id is result okay like that you will tell to the result element okay and after that we will be coming to the third uh, row which is about the buttons you will have four buttons right for four buttons you have to do something which is on click why we are setting on click is because when the button is clicked something should happen so we are defining here itself is inline function so when we are on clicking it it should call some function what is that function perform perform op perform op we should def define in the script so when you click uh, uh, means a uh, function should be called that function name is perform op and what you are passing in that function is not empty function means if you click something and you are pa not passing anything how will that function know what you have clicked right the function doesn't know what you have clicked so what you should uh, pass is this dot value this dot value means value is already defined here so whatever that uh, is defined as that will be passed in the argument it will be passed that argument will be used later in the stage so we are done with the table that what uh, we have passed this dot value that this dot value is op so then we'll be getting two variables result i'll come to this later here we have uh, the comparison operators and that particular result will be assigned and same way how to get the element by id we'll be calling its name hey your result right i want you to come here and assign yourself as that value whatever i got here and uh, as result means your value should be as result that will be set as result and coming to this what i have left here this is very simple i just pass in because n1 is an integer value you have you have to convert the string value into integer value so you'll convert parse int document dot get element value which element you are getting num1 you are calling hey num1 come give your value and go hey num2 come give your value and go that's all you're getting two ids and saving it in n1 and n2 okay so yeah let's again go through it once uh, at uh, means as a revision html has two parts which are the parts the body and the head in the head we have the title in the body what we have two parts they are means the table and the script in the table we have four rows and in the script we have one function which is having if else conditions and in the table what we are doing is first input uh, the uh, number one then input number two then in the third part we are taking the result and uh, in here we are doing two things table head and table row uh, in table uh, sorry in uh, table head table data in table head what we are taking is just that we are uh, displaying enter the number 
an input type is equal to number and name and id we are assigning if it's number one we are saying hey you are number one okay like that we are doing for number two as well as for the result after that we are coming to the third part uh, third part which is the uh, buttons in buttons we have four buttons so call span is equal to two we are setting and after that we are assigning two or uh, four buttons here the values we are assigning plus minus into and divide and after assigning those values we are calling the on click because when it is clicked that something should happen right we are calling the function which is perform op in perform op we are passing this dot value means whatever the value we click value is already defined that value will be passed in the function that's all for the table coming to the script part we have a function that is name is uh, perform op and inside that the operator uh, operator is the argument is getting called here we are creating two variables which is n1 and n2 we are doing parse int get element by id num1 dot value means hey you are num1 give your value and go num2 also we are taking in n2 after that result is equal to 0 then based on the operator value we are considering the if else conditions in if else conditions whatever the value of the result is based on the operator like n1 plus n2 n1 minus n2 n1 into n2 or n1 divided by n2 that will be assigned to what result then finally document dot uh, uh, means get element by id result hey result come here the, your value should be whatever i got here result that will be assigned to the result okay so that's all what is there in the uh, calculator program and thank you so much for watching make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, i'll see you in the next one